the biggest misconception to me that women have about men is that we always are out thinking about the next girl or cheating or trying to do something that has something to do with that. I don't think it would be so many successful men out here if that was the case. So stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that. So why do men disappear when it comes to relationships instead of telling the girls what's up? Um, a woman's mind moves a lot faster than a man. So when a woman starts a relationship, that first year, that's all she has is the first year. The, the first year of the relationship is just the, the fun year. Then the second year is she wants to get married and she wants to be kids and she wants to be, she's, she's ready to just do the whole thing. And the guy's clock ain't that fast. The second year, he's still trying to have some fun. He's still trying to kick it. The third year, he's still trying to have fun. But she's like, no, I'm ready to get married to him right now. So he's like, oh, poof. That's it. <laughs> Common misconceptions that women have about men. Um, that we don't understand you guys. Let me tell you something. Men... We understand nowadays that we don't understand. So what we're doing more than ever is we're listening, ladies. We're coming in the house and we realize you're a different alien, you're a different animal. There's things about you that you can do that we just can't do. So at this point, we really appreciate your awesomeness, especially during Women's History Month. Mm. Mm, that's good to me. That's good to my soul as I think about it. Uh, you know, and, and like I said, more than ever, men were listening. It's almost like we're in this like therapist, uh, psychologist place where we just want to sit on that couch. Well, we'll sit in the chair. You can sit in the couch and just hear you talk about how they're trying to destroy you at work. How that bitch won't put some respect on your name. Mmm. And we're just sitting there like, what? What did she say to you? Girl, you better, huh? She better, she's gonna, cause she's gonna find out. You damn right, babe. Okay. <laughs> All right, you be strong. You <laughs> be strong, babe. Why do men disappear? Why do they ghost? There's a few reasons. I'm gonna touch on one, okay? Cause you're crazy, okay? And you know what else? Smothered pork chops. Okay, now what does that mean? Smothered pork chops means you don't let me breathe. Like, why are you all over me? Why I can't go to the bathroom in peace without you just peeking your head in? Hey, baby, you okay? You just gonna watch me? You just gonna watch it come off the tip? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you're not letting the man, you're not allowing him his privacy. Like, when he on, the, on his phone in the group chat, you over his shoulder. Don't you dare look in the group chat so your eyes burn and you can't see no more. He knew if he tried to explain to you why he was gonna leave your ass, you was gonna go crazy some more. So he just went ghost. One common misconception about men all over the world is that we're only out for one thing and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Once we get past the blinders of sex and then the physical attraction, that's when we really get to, to see who you are. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, once we find out who you are, a lot of don't like you. My bad. Why do men ghost? Men ghost for a variety of reasons. Look here, ladies. I'll be the first one to say, on behalf of the men, I apologize. It's not you, it's us. A lot of times men are either intimidated, uh, feel we might fall short of the mark, or in some special occasions, you just ain't shit. You all ask about misconceptions about men. The first misconception you have is that we don't give a shit. We care, we just don't care like you care. So when we care, our ego kicks in and says, don't be weak, don't be a punk, don't be transparent, don't say anything, man up and do stupid shit, and that's what we do. You just think we don't give a shit, we actually just give a shit different than you give a shit. Why do men ghost in a relationship? Because you weren't in a relationship. I think the most most common misconception about uh, men that women have is that, you know, a lot of times when it all goes bad, that we're not hurt. We really hurt, okay? We just don't want to show you 
that we hurt. You are not just gonna cry in front of you, you know what I'm saying? Type of, that ain't, you, you ain't no more man if you start crying and, but I need you. You know, even that's, that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we should, we should break down and be vulnerable and let you know how much we need you. But there's this thing called pride that has been built you know what I'm saying? It's like a default mechanism that shouldn't be there, that we shouldn't have, and we always revert to it, and it just messes everything up. So we do care. We do love you. We do want you back. We do have feelings, all right? We just don't know how to express them. You guys also want to know why men disappear sometimes when it comes to dating instead of just being straight up. I think it's a young thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's when you're young in your mind, as a, as a young boy, as a young man, um, sometimes you're not ready, ready for that confrontation. You know what I'm saying? You're not ready to have that tough conversation. You haven't learned how to have it yet. You know what I'm saying? So the easiest thing to do is to avoid the phone call or avoid the text, you know what I'm saying? Or act like it doesn't exist versus just coming out and saying, hey, I'm not totally feeling the vibe. You know, you don't want to hurt feelings or whatever it is, but it's just a thing where you just haven't evolved into a space where you know how to have that conversation. So, you know, sometimes women, you gotta lead us into it. You know what I'm saying? Lead us into that conversation. Is everything okay? Is there something Is there something you don't like about what's going on? You know, you gotta be the school teacher. You know what I'm saying? For us little boys sometimes. So that's what it is.